massive Roblox drama today with Creecroft getting banned from Roblox. Ruben Sim exposes Roblox once again. The most disgusting Roblox influencer is banned and they need to be banned now. The Roblox community is mad and much, much more. So make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new and watch this video until the end because this video goes over some crazy stories you do not want to miss out on. Now, first story is how Creecroft was literally banned from Roblox for something he quite literally did almost six years ago. So Roblox moderation literally time traveled here. Now it's technically just a visual glitch because his account still remained up at the time. However, he literally couldn't access it whatsoever. But this is certainly an error that a multi-billion dollar platform should not be experiencing like Roblox. Yet here we are with Creecraft, one of the most influential figures on the platform, literally being banned for something he did years ago in which he literally appealed and got unbanned from. Clearly yet another Roblox moderation bug as if Roblox hasn't had enough of these already because somehow users who have had prior bans on the site and have appealed them and come back seem to have had it happen to them again as well. Anyway, here is a clip of Creecraft's reaction to the situation. It says that my account was reviewed on 12-17-2017 at 1.54 a.m. Central Time. Again, let's zoom in on that here. That is 12-17-2017 uh, at 2 a.m. in the morning. Now, uh, I don't know about you guys, but uh, 2017 was six years ago. And why does it say that my account was deleted as per parent request? My mom didn't call Roblox and tell him to delete my account. And my dad certainly didn't. I haven't seen him since I was five and I'm pretty sure he's in jail. So I don't even know how he would do that. Now, Creecroft actually managed to, of course, get his account back. But this isn't the worst example in this video of Roblox moderation being actual garbage this week. That would be with Ruben Sim, where he made a video exposing two disgusting individuals and Roblox for literally allowing these freaks to remain on the platform. One of these would be him showing a video by Turkey Tom going over a vile human being called Orion, aka Giggly Goon Clown, and this person is truly one of the sickest human beings I've ever seen. They have said putrid things which I don't even feel comfortable going over in this video. They are a predator and a danger to children and society as a whole, and have engaged in some of the most depraved fetishes and communities on the internet. Bro, I'm serious. I'm such a hardcore though. My friends and family have no idea. I couldn't muster the strength to tell my therapist. I'm constantly taking risks and clicking on things and talking to perverts. I have no idea how I haven't been arrested yet. I've given up on stopping. Yeah, if if you're planning on clicking off, but perhaps the worst of Orion's potential victims are those within his own family. Orion frequently sexualized his nieces and nephews who were as young as five years old. On June 6, 2023, Orion sent a photo of his youngest niece to Pink. He then imagines having intercourse with her. I need her to get a phone and take irresponsible pics for attention. He bragged about getting to spend hours watching them at the pool. He wrote about one such visit to Pink two weeks later, which which is so disgusting, I, I don't even want to read it. And this person used Roblox to encourage kids to engage in some of these fetishes, and their accounts were revealed, but still remain perfectly up to this day on the site, and this user has not been hardware banned whatsoever. However, Ruben has. Ruben has faced all this punishment, but this giggly goon clown person who's done some of the most disgusting things has not. And if we're on the topic of self-admitted pedophiles, Mabucket, who is believed to be behind the Cows for Black Loads account, is still on the site too, with Roblox being fully aware that this person is a child rapist zoophile predator that me and many others have literally made videos on. This person in the past has literally groomed children and has encouraged children to do depraved things. Roblox at this point is complicit in these users remaining on the platform, with Mabucket, Giggly Goon Clown, and Fave all remaining up on the site perfectly fine. One of these was actually uncovered. He went by the name Goon Clown. His real name is Orion Grant Passmore. He admitted in Discord messages that have since been leaked that he did this on Roblox. Mr. Postcard posts an even more lurid character, Cow for Black Loads. Orion made several accounts for this purpose. The first was Blox Gooner with the description, just a dumb Roblox Gooner. Look up Gooner captions if you don't know what a Gooner is. That was shortly after discussing the possibility with Mana Drain. I love Roblox players. Show them the funnest stuff there is to do. You're basically handing out drugs on a playground. Roblox is full of role-playing games. I was thinking about pretending to be a girl and becoming friends with girls just to tell them about gooning. There are screenshots of Orion in-game telling kids to look up NSFW terms and harassing young girls. Hey, post-production Ruben Simier. I just wanted to point out that this Mr. Postcard character is believed to be the alter ego of Mob Bucket, aka Andrew Wicker, a notorious Roblox child predator who admitted to sexually assaulting his younger sister, convinced a 
minor to molest their own sibling, and stated that a child's first sexual experience should be removed because, quote, then they know what they're made for. If you truly wanted the full list of pedophiles and predators which have been allowed to proliferate on this site, the list would be virtually endless. David Bazuki is literally photographed here with with Andrew, aka Mabake, and literally has access to the billing information of Andrew, yet they don't bother forwarding any of this information to the police whatsoever, so literally no action is being taken. And if I truly wanted to, which I'm highly considering at this point, I really want to drop a major bombshell video on Roblox and the disgusting things that are going on behind the scenes, because if they don't heed Ruben Sims' statements and actually wipe these horrific people off the site, because what I'm seeing is them doing absolutely nothing regarding this. It's just more terrible god-awful Roblox moderation. Anyway, now from a change in subject because there's actual good news, and I know the last segment was pretty disgusting to say the least. I wouldn't even say pretty. It was absolutely disgusting. However, we actually have good news in which is really rare to see now. Roblox icon Tinfoilbot has actually announced his return with Green Lego Cats breaking the news in a video. Tinfoilbot's group chat shout states, Hello fan, I have some good news. I just got it told that I'm getting ungrateful grounded in December. I am being very careful because I am using my laptop in secret and there are hackers that are trying to get my limiteds. Now only OGs would remember Tim Fallbot's rise to fame as he was a staple in old Roblox culture, but I cannot pretend like I can relate because I literally joined Roblox in 2020. However, he is set to start creating content again in December and that's when he'll be making his grand return after his long hiatus in which seems to have started in 2018. So at least today we actually we have some good news to share despite the fact all the bad stuff which is still happening. Now final story comes in with how Roblox managed to fumble the bag with the poor rollout of Roblox to PlayStation. And this has seemingly annoyed Roblox users recently to the point where even articles are made about this situation. Citing how the official PlayStation subreddit, one user posted his opinions as a first time player stating, the entire experience is horrible, they've put zero effort into localizing this to PlayStation. Now I'm not going to pretend like I actually care about this news story nearly as much as I do for the other things mentioned in this video, but yet again, it just fits the narrative of how Roblox recently is virtually collapsing. With re-terminations happening for no reason whatsoever and no explanation, predators running amok on the platform, and a lazy sloppy rollout of Roblox to PS5. Anyway, if Roblox moderation has been proven to be terrible time and time again, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new, and obviously this video is not intended for hate, harassment, cyberbullying, or anything like that. It's just an educational and informative documentary type video into the entire situation as a whole currently. And also make sure to check out my other videos if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye. I also would like to give some recognition to my main, to my main man, Parlo.